Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how we can connect our external Android device to Visual Studio via Wi-Fi. In my previous video, I showed you how you can connect that using the USB. But maybe if the computer or the device is far from the computer and you want to connect it just to um, test your app, you can do so by using the Wi-Fi. Yeah? So It is possible to connect an Android device to a computer without using a USB cable or a Wi-Fi. So this technique requires more effort but could be useful when the device is too far from the computer to remain constantly plugged in via cable. So enough of the talking, so let's get into the real stuff here. Yeah? So please before we go ahead, let's look at what we have to install just to get us started here. Yeah? First of all, let's go into the extensions or the tools and get tools and features, yeah? I'm just going to show you, I'm going to pull you through this quickly because I've already done that with the previous video, yeah? So once we've got the Visual Studio installer open, let's go to individual components here. Yeah? Let's go down, let's look for um go down choose let's go to um i'm just gonna pause the video while um sdk libraries and framework here yeah? i'm just gonna pause the video for now Okay, so we 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 just yeah, so U, USB device connectivity. So it's under SDK libraries and framework. So so you have to make sure that you've got this box checked, yeah. And you have to make sure you download and install it. Yeah. So once you're done with this bit here, let's come to the Visual Studio. So let's close this bit and come to the Visual Studio. Okay. So here, let's go to the tools and Android. So SDK, let's go to the SDK, Android SDK manager. So here, we got to make sure we have to come to the tools. We got to make sure that we've got this. Okay, so. I'm offline, so I'm just gonna go back to the internet. I think my computer is offline now, just, just a sec. Okay, so I'm connected back to the internet. So you have to make sure that you have this bit uh, installed, Android SDK platform tools, yeah? Make sure you have this bit installed. And Express, make sure you have the Google USB driver installed as well, okay? So once you're done with all of them bits here, yeah, let's open the, I'm just going to show you my my external device, and let's we have to we have to make sure that um, you know your, um, your 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 phone or your Android device's um, IP address. So let's have a look at it. Okay. Okay. So this is my external Android device. This this is my Samsung phone. Yeah. So we got to make sure. That you will come to the settings, yeah. And on the settings side, yeah, in most phones, you go to the about, it's, it's basically it's at the bottom about the phone or about phone, yeah. So this will take you to this page. So this, this actually shows you your device and whatnot, the device type and whatnot, yeah. So you look at um, the status information, okay. So here you can see, you can see your. IP address, just um, beneath the IME, IMEI information, okay? So you gotta make sure that you note your IP address, okay? You, you note that, see that's the one that I'm, I'm highlighting, okay? Note your IP address, yeah, cause we're going to need it in a bit, okay? So once the IP address is noted, um, we come back to the Visual Studio. So I'm just going to remove this bit here from now. So here on Visual Studio, this is what we're going to do. Um, 
First of all, let's let's start an Android. Uh, let's start a very simple Android application. So let's go to project and create a new very simple Android. So you can you can type here Android. So if you've got if you looked at my previous videos, you can install your if you haven't installed the Android um, components, you can so that you can you'll be able to open an Android app, um, project. So here we're just going to quickly open. So we're just going to select the single um single view app yeah so you click ok so here we've got a very simple android app here yeah? so let's wait for the whole thing to load yeah so as you can see yeah i've got my my samsung phone Showing here because it's actually connected to a USB device, so I will remove the USB part. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to remove disconnect my USB. So, as you can see, the emulate <coughs> is showing the emulator. So, first of all, we come to the tools and Android and Android ADB command prompt. So, here it's actually it's directly showing the a project source. So what we would do is we, we, we're going to need just the SDK directory. So I will um, open a new Visual Studio. So here we're going to continue with our code. And then we open the Android um, ADB command prompt. So here is is actually showing us directly at um, the Android SDK directory. Okay, so this is what we would do. Yeah, first I'm just going to close the project now. So as you can see here, if we look at the device, I, I don't have my phone here. So we're going to and I've disconnected it from uh, I've disconnected it from what do you call it uh, from USB. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to open the command. So here on the command side here, yeah, this is what we're going to type. We're going to type ADB TCP IP. And we're going to show, um, put the port number. So <clears throat> it's 5555. Press enter. So as you can see here now, there's no device found. So let's go ahead and open an emulator just for this video's sake, okay? So I'm actually starting up an emulator, so let's wait for, for it to load. So now, as you can see, I have an emulator started, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and type in the same thing, ADB TCT IP 555. So let's click on enter. So as you can see, it's a restarting in TCT mode port 555. Yeah, so now that we've actually got this bit sorted out, yeah. So if we look at the devices, yeah, I still don't have my phone connected. Okay. So this is what we're going to do next. So this is the command we're going to type, okay? ADB connect. So this and then our IP address. So I'm just gonna put zero zero. I'm not going to show you my IP address. Zero, I mean, zero zero dot zero zero dot zero zero, and then column, and then the port number that we said five 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 five. Yeah, so this is exactly what we're going to write. Okay, so basically, the zero 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 bit is your IP address. Okay, and then um, the column with the and then and then the the port that we started, which is five 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 five. Okay, so. After this bit here, then you can you can um, you can type you can type uh, what you call it. you can type enter and then it will actually connect. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video and do the same. Yeah, but I'm not going to show you my IP address if that if you get what I'm saying. Okay, so just hang on a bit. So now when you click the enter, you, let's go back and see. As you can see here, you can see that I've got my Samsung connected via wireless. Okay. So this is how you do it 
Yeah. Okay. So from here, you can actually uh, you can actually debug or run your apps from Visual Studio to your external device. Yeah. I hope this actually helps you. But if you have a, a comment, yeah, or if you have a question, you can leave. Uh, you can drop a line below, and I'll answer you. Okay. So I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.